If you've eaten in any restaurant in the last few years, pretty much in any major city, you've eaten something sous vide. It literally means under vacuum, a slow, wonderful way to cook almost anything. Now the meal at Combi Steam Oven has been updated to do sous vide. Today we're gonna do a tri-tip, which is a kind of low sirloin. It's a great, inexpensive, but flavorful and tender cut of meat. Perfect for grilling and ideal for sous vide. And we now have the Miele vacuum sealing drawer, which makes it even easier to seamlessly go from vacuum sealing our food to putting it in the oven and setting the controls. First, let's take our vacuum sealed bag. If you don't have the vacuum sealed drawer at home, you can always use the water displacement method in a Ziploc bag. So we'll pop that in. Once we have the meat in the bag, I have just some crushed garlic that I'm gonna put in the bag. I like to use whole fresh herbs, little stems of thyme that have been washed, some salt, great olive oil or butter if you prefer. And one thing that I really love to use is something that not many people know about. It's vincotto, a fermented grape must. So it's not a balsamic, it's not acidic but it just imparts a very mild kind of syrupy flavor to it. And it's a great ingredient that helps caramelize. That meat is ready to be vacuum sealed. Now we turn on our vacuum sealing drawer. So let's place it inside the drawer. All we have to do is gently hold down the glass lid. So now you can see that the vacuum sealing drawer is filling it with gas. And now it's sucking all of the air out. When I lift it out, we have a perfectly sealed and marinated piece of tri-tip. It's ready to go into a sous vide oven. We'll turn on the combi steam oven and we'll select operating mode. And then we'll scroll to where it says sous vide. We're gonna set it at rare, which is 135. The other incredible aspect of sous vide is that you have a really long cooking time. So we're gonna set it for the minimum for this cut, which is one hour and a half, but the window can go up to three hours. So you always have something ready to go. And then we'll start it. And we can put it in to the oven at any level because remember the entire cooking cavity will be 135. So now we can take our sous vide tri-tip out of the oven and you can see through the bag that it doesn't have any color. However, it's perfectly rare from end to end. I'm going to open the bag and we'll sear the meat on a hot cast iron pan. It's really space agey, but it's actually a very, very old method of cooking. And we have that with all that beautiful marinade and now I'm going to season it liberally with some kosher salt, fresh pepper, both sides. I have a smoking hot cast iron pan, and here we go. I would say about four to five minutes each side. You'll see the beautiful crust that develops. So I think it's great on this side. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. I love to add a little butter right at the end. It's only gonna make it taste even more rich and delicious. And we're done. Look how beautiful and caramelized that is. We're ready to slice. There we have what I was talking about before. You have from end to end, perfectly rare meat. Let's plate it. Rustic on a nice wood chopping board. It's a great way to serve it for a party. A little bit of salt. Grind of fresh pepper. Great olive oil as always. And let's do some shavings of parmigiano. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Some fresh chopped sage, and that's perfection. And now you're ready to serve perfectly rare sous vide tri-tip 
thanks to the Miele Combi Steam Oven, which now does sous vide, you can have restaurant quality meals right in your home.